Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the MIUI or MyUI Infuse Edition ROM on your Samsung Infuse 4G. Uh, the MyUI ROM is, I believe that's how you pronounce it, it's spelled M-I-U-I. You can pronounce it however you want. It's a Chinese based ROM that is ported over to English. So um, you might see some Chinese here and there in the ROM, you actually might not. It kind of depends on what the state the build is at. But anyways, um, to install this ROM, you're gonna need to make sure you have Clockwork Mod installed on your Infuse. Click on the link in the description of the video. It takes you to this website. Big, big shout out. And thanks to Boost, uh, Boost and Subaru. So uh, Boost and Subaru, big thanks to him. Shout out, as you can see, My UI Infuse Edition. Um, right there. It is still in beta build, so you might run into a couple bugs here and there. I don't know if Bluetooth works, um, HDMI out, etc. I'm not sure if those two things work. But anyways, what you're going to need to do is go ahead and scroll down, scroll down, um, keep scrolling down, and the download link is right there. So download my UI 2.1.6 right there. So download it, and it's going to look like this. Let me pull up my downloads folder. It should look like this right here. My UI version 4, right there, 2.1.6 zip. Get that zip file on your internal uh, storage, on your Infuse. And once you've transferred that zip file over to your device, you can go ahead and boot into Clockwork Mod, your custom recovery. So I'm just going to hit recovery on my ROM. Um, I'm running the Zeus ROM currently. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let this reboot my device. It should reboot me into Clockwork Mod. To do so manually, power it on off. Press and hold volume up, volume down, and power button at the same time. Keep them held down until the first Samsung screen pops up. Go ahead and let go, and then it should reboot you into your custom recovery. So this should be rebooting me into Clockwork Mod. As you can see, Clockwork Mod Recovery 2.5.1.3. All right, so what you're gonna need to do to install this ROM is first of all make an Android backup, go to backups and restore and make a backup. I do recommend making an Android backup just in case anything goes wrong. But once you've made an Android backup, go ahead and go to wipe data slash factory reset. So this is gonna wipe all your data. So make sure you back everything up here, contacts, your apps, etc. So I'm gonna hit yes, delete all user data, data wipe complete. Then go to wipe cache partition, hit yes, wipe cache. And then go to the advanced menu and hit wipe Dalvik cache. And then hit yes, wipe Dalvik cache. So once your data, your cache, your Dalvik cache are all wiped, go back and then hit install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, navigate to wherever that MIUI version 4.4, uh, uh, 2.1.6 zip is and hit install. So it's gonna go ahead and install the MIUI. My, my I keep saying MIUI or MIUI. It's either one or the other, I really don't know. So that's just uh, what I say. But anyways, it's gonna go ahead and install. As you can see, installed the very quickly, install from SD card complete. I'm just gonna hit go back and then reboot system now. So it's gonna go ahead and reboot my device. Um, if for any reason my phone doesn't boot up, all you have to do is pull the battery, put it back in, go back into your custom recovery, and then flash the ROM again. No need to wipe again, just flash the ROM again and then reboot and it should boot up just fine. All right, so it looks like it's not booting. So as I said, pull the battery. Whoop, can't get my uh, fingernail under there. There we go. So pull the battery out and now all you're gonna have to do is go back into your custom recovery, volume up and down, power button at the same time. I'm actually kind of glad it didn't boot. So I can uh, show you it. Let go at the first Samsung screen pops up. And then it should reboot you into your custom recovery again. Like so. As you can see here now, uh, you're, it will upgrade, update your Clockwork Mod. But anyways, just go ahead and go to install zip from SD card again. Choose zip from SD card. And then navigate to that My UI ROM again and hit install. So let it install again. Um, just this is if your phone doesn't boot up, you might not have to do this. You might have to do this, but depending on whether you do or not, uh, this is the second step to the install process. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let this install again. All right, as you can see, install from SD card complete. Just hit go back and then reboot system now. So now it should go ahead and reboot your Infuse, and it should work now. It should reboot you into your My UI ROM. As I said, I'll let you check out the boot animation now. All right, so there you go.
My UI Android, little moving things at the bottom, colorful things. So there you go. This is the boot animation. As I said, separate review video. Definitely be sure to check that out. I'll link to that in the description of the video. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. All links to be in the description of the video. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.